Welcome to Sweethearts or Rivals. I'm Sharla. I'm Justin. What's on our table today? Viticulture. With Tuscany. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with Tuscany, Viticulture plays one to six players. They mm -hmm. recommend ages 14 and up. And it could take you up to 120 minutes. Ooh. It might today. <laughs> today we're going to be doing Tuscany with Tier 2. Yes. So all the stuff that we had from our last video, all the modules from Tier 1 are still going to be there. And then we're going to add all of the modules from Tier 2 on top of it. Right. So have we played with all of the modules from Tier 2 yet? No. We play with the extended board. Right. Which is a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Just we, so we could get the flow of how the game would go. Yes. But we wanted to save our experience with the modules from Tier 2 live on camera. There we go. So you get to see it here first. Well, at least us playing it for the first time. Right. First. That's yeah. what he means. That's what I mean. Right. <laughs> so should we set it up? Yep, we're gonna swap the camera, set it up, and then we'll get right into it. We'll be right back. Right on. We're back. And we're almost ready to start. Whew. Almost. <laughs> so, uh, we have the new board out. Uh, and the extended board is going to add um, all four seasons instead of just two where you do actions. And there are going to be four spaces per season to do actions on. Mm -hmm. Which is crazy. Um, also, a lot of the bonuses have moved. Instead of just all being in the middle place, they're kind of uh, in different spots. Which means in a two-player game, there are actually some places where you can place your workers to get bonuses now. Awesome. Which is kind of cool. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff that we will get into very shortly because we're not actually quite set up completely. Okay. <laughs> so the first thing we have is in Tier 1, uh, we have the Mamas and the Papas. So we're going to figure out who our mom and dad were and what they left us. Who is your mama and your papa? Laura and Steven. And what did they leave you? Laura gives me two workers, which okay. I have here. Nice. And a vine card and two wine orders. And you might want to wait until we get those just because we have extra cards to put into the decks. Okay. Ooh. And then Papa gives me a My Grande worker and $4. Nice. Or I can have $2 or my irrigation. Interesting. Irrigation costs three, so I'm going to take irrigation an extra dollar worth of stuff plus you didn't have to use an action for it smart mm -hmm. uh, my mama and my papa were Fallon and Raymond and of course I get my two regular workers for my mom I get my grande worker for my dad my dad's also gonna give me three bucks uh, I'm gonna get some cards but we'll wait to get those a little bit later and then I have a up I have the option of getting three more dollars or um, my cottage Hmm. That's interesting. I think I shall take the cottage. And on this board it's nice because I always forget to take my cottage action. Yep. So you can actually put your cottage on there to remind you to take an extra card. Right now. Cool. You feel confident you're going to remember? I do. Okay. I'm not going to remind you. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, that's all set up. Uh, we have our secret goals. Um, all of the extra cards that are from tier one are already in there and shuffled in. So what are all four modules that get added in from Tier 2? The first one that gets added in is uh, some new summer and some new winter visitor cards. Mm -hmm. So these get added into the already large deck of summer visitor cards with the advanced visitor cards and these in there as well. Crazy! Yeah, and avert your eyes if you don't like a ruffle shuffle because I'm going to do some. Okay. Ruffle shuffle commence. You can keep talking. <laughs> Uh, the next thing that gets added in is, of course, the extended board, and this is a really big part of the Tier 2 game. 
Um, there's two sides to the board. One side includes a section for some new cards, structure cards, which is another module we'll get into later. Uh, but if you haven't unlocked the structure module, um, then you play on the other side, which doesn't have those. The first thing that's different with the extended board is the uh, wake up chart. Instead of just waking up um, in player order and getting a quick single bonus, um, the bonuses are spread out over all four seasons. So for example, if I take fourth place, I'm not gonna get a um, order card until summer. And then when I pass at the end of summer, that's when I'm gonna get a summer visitor card in the fall section. When I pass for fall, that's when I'm gonna get a structure card. So the bonuses are spread out over the seasons. Um, and then when somebody passes out of winter, they don't sit there and wait. They actually immediately retrieve their workers, which could open up some spots in winter for other people. Uh, they age their grapes and their wine, they discard down to seven, they collect residual payments, and then they immediately choose the wake up section or position for the next turn. So it all happens right away. So that's cool. Uh, residual payment is now up here. Um, one of the things you can do on the extended board is you have start off with six influence stars and some of the action spaces and some of the bonuses in the wake up chart let you place those stars out. What you do is down here on this map, uh, there's the different kind of provinces or areas of um, Tuscany and you can place a star down and when you do you gain a bonus. Uh, the bonuses are in the different provinces and at the very end of the game if you have a clear majority of a specific province, you're going to gain bonus victory points. So nothing for ties then? Exactly. Ties get you nothing. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. That's an interesting one. Uh, again, all of the actions have been separated into four seasons instead of just two. And in the previous version of the game, um, after you did all of your summer actions, you then got to choose either a summer visitor card or a winter visitor card, and then you went into your winter actions. That's now changed. The only way you get cards between seasons is from the wake up chart bonuses, which actually makes the cottage a little bit better because that's the only way to pick up a, a card, which is cool. Mm -hmm. um, so in the spring, you can draw vine cards, give a tour to gain money, build a structure, or place or move one of your influence stars. Then we get into the summer. The summer is play a summer visitor card, plant vines, a trading action that instead of selling your grapes, you get to trade grapes, victory points, money, or cards for grapes, victory points, money, or cards, which is cool. Uh, and then you can flip one property. We still have these property here on our fields, so we can flip those. Then we go into autumn where you can draw order cards, harvest fields, uh, make wine tokens or build a structure or give a tour. So now there's actually two spots that you can build structures or give tours, which is kind of neat. Yeah, the build structure is there. It's awesome. Uh, so in winter, uh, you can play a winter visitor card. You can train another worker. Uh, you can sell one wine token for victory points that has nothing to do with orders. Yeah, and there's a little chart right here. So it's the white or red for one point, a blush for two points, or the sparkling for four points. Nice. And then, of course, there's the fill the, the order as well. And then there's the space at the very corner there that can be played in any season whatsoever. As many people can go there, and you're going to gain a dollar or a structure card. Nice. Because that is the extended board. Uh, the only other thing is, um, now you play till 25 instead of 20, and there's no longer a limit of how many points you can get. The track goes all the way up to 40, and you can go beyond it. So that's kind of cool. Awesome. Yeah. So the next thing it gets added, of course, is the structure cards. So I can shuffle those. Yep. And we get an extension to the player board. It goes right on the left side, and the artwork matches up quite nicely. And there's enough room there for two structures, but you can also put structures on any field that you do not have anything planted on. Okay. So of course you wouldn't want to fill up everything, that would be silly, but you could put there if you want to. Interesting. <laughs> um, there's also a new spot where you can place a worker and it lets you to destroy one of your buildings that's already there in case you want to replace it with something else. If you have something better in your hand or something. Yeah. Okay. 
And some of the structures are going to give you special bonuses. Mm -hmm. Some of them are going to give you a new place where you can place a worker for some action that only you can do. Mm -hmm. And some of them give you residual things. Like there's one there that oh, gives cool. you a re residual payment um, of a victory point. Nice. Yeah. Let's just look at the bottom one just for the distiller. Age Ooh. grapes, so one victory point. That's a symbol of residual payment. So. Um, when you're receiving your res you're collecting your residual payments, you would age your grapes, and all of the buildings give you a victory point when you build them. Okay, so that's when you build it. Yep. It costs you two dollars to build it. You got it. Oh, okay, I'm gonna shuffle that back in. Nice. Maybe it'll be on top. Right. On. Uh, the next thing we have is we have the special workers, and there's lots of them. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's actually eleven special worker meeples. One of them you cannot use during a, within a two-player game, so I've removed that. So there's ten of them. Which one can you not use in a two-player game? That's an excellent question. In a two-player game, you do not use the innkeeper. Because the innkeeper, when you place the innkeeper, you may pay one dollar to an opponent who has a worker on the same action, and you need to take one visitor card at random from their hand. Yes, that would be annoying in a two-player game. Yeah. It's nice they removed that one. That one's out. Mm -hmm. And the way that the special workers... Uh, work is when you train uh, a new worker um, you can pay an extra dollar in order to make it one of the special workers instead okay there is still a limit of six total workers in your worker pool so if you get a special worker it doesn't mean you can train a whole bunch you of you just these. discard one or yeah. whatever yeah just don't hire them or whatever yeah. And in your game, you're only ever going to play with two at a time. Nice. Yeah. So that's going to be a lot of replayability. Because mm -hmm. the special powers of the workers are pretty neat. Cool. And if they're not working for your strategy, then you just don't have to worry about it. You don't have to get them. But we'll try to showcase some. What we can. Do you want me to go over all of them? No, just, well, you can list off who we didn't draw, but you'll have to go over those so we know how to use them. Okay. So we are going to be playing with the professor and the chef. The professor, when you place the professor, you may retrieve one of your regular workers from an action space on the board in the current season. This worker is now available to be placed again this year. Nice. So the only trick with that is it has to be in the same season that you place the professor. Mm -hmm. Then we have the chef. You may place the chef on any action space already occupied by an opponent worker by bumping that worker back to the opponent's pool of available workers. Chefs can't bump other chefs. Okay. <laughs> so not on, like when you place them, they get to do that action. Yep. And then they do yep. their special. Yep. Nice. Yeah. So the professor allows, uh, allows you to pick up one of your previous workers, and the chef allows you to bump our opponent's worker off. Interesting. It's kind of cool. Move a worker off. Bump yeah. a worker off sounds kind of... <laughs> You're not killing Like them. the mafia or yeah. something. You're not killing them. Yeah. Uh, the other workers that are available is the Oracle, which allows you to draw um, extra cards whenever you're drawing cards. Um, and then you can discard one of them you drew. So you get an option of which card you get. Uh, the Farmer, uh, you get a bonus of your choice among the bonuses on the action, even if the Farmer is not on a bonus action space. All of them? When you place a farmer on the board, you may gain one bonus of your choice among the bonuses on that action, Ooh. even if the farmer is not on it. That could be nice in a two-player game, actually. Yeah. Some of the spaces do have multiple bonuses that in a two-player game you never get to, so right. that would be pretty good. Yeah, because we're only still ever allowed to use the first space in a two-player yep. game. Uh, the Politico. When you place the Politico on a bonus action space on the board, after you take the action and you gain the bonus, you may pay a dollar to gain the bonus again. The messenger. You may place the messenger on an action space in a future season. Take the action during the first turn of that season. Nice. The soldato. If the soldato is on an action space on the board, opponents must pay you one dollar to place a worker on the same action. Opponents may place workers on the same action as your soldato, even if all action spaces are full. The merchant. If you place the merchant on the board after all opponents have passed the next season, after you take your action, you may draw one of any card. Hmm. 
The Mafioso. When you place the Mafioso on a non-bonus action space, after you take the action, you may take the action again. And the Traveler. You may place the Traveler on any open action space in a previous season, regardless of the action spaces available based on the player count. Immediately take that action. Nice. Yeah. So lots of variety and choice. And then of course, because we have the Kickstarter version of Tuscany, there are um, color player color pieces for all of the special uh, workers. Yahoo. All right, so that is everything from tier one and tier two in one game. Awesome. <laughs> now we're ready to start. Yep, now we can get actually get our cards from our mamas. So we should know who's going first before we do that. So if you do you want to roll the dice? Let's roll the die. That's what it's there for. Oh, you are. Maybe not. Oh, maybe you maybe are. Yeah, I am. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so I get a vine card and two order cards. Nice. And I get an order card. Ah. And I get two winter visitor cards, which I'll get you to get for me, please, sweetie. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And that's from my mama. Now that we have everything set up, we are ready to begin. You are first player. And uh, the first thing you get to do is take your rooster and choose your wake up order and what bonuses you'll be getting from each season. Well, I think I'm going to take this position so I can get some visitor cards, maybe. Nice. That's a good one. Hmm. So I think I'm going to take number three because I would like some of that stuff. Yeah. Which means I get to go first. Ha ha. So we're in the spring. Um, let's see, what can we, can we do? We can draw vine cards, give tours, build a structure, place stars. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to. Darn it, I don't want to waste a worker to draw a vine card because I'm going to get a vine card. But I'm not going to get it until after this season. So I might as well build a structure. And I'm going to spend $2 to build my trellis. Ooh, hopefully you won't have one that only needs an irrigation. Yeah, that would suck. Here you go. I'm <laughs> going to, since you didn't draw a vine card, You're I'm going to draw one because you can plant two. There you go. And you get to draw two. I do because it's a special bonus for that. Nice. I think I am going to pass, which means I move that guy there and I grab a vine card. Yep, that's not surprising at all. <laughs> I'm going to pass as well. <laughs> what do you get? Summer. See if I can play a summer card in the summertime. Nice. Okay. All right, now we move over to summer. I don't have any summer visitor cards at all. So we can plant, play summer cards, do some trading. Or flip a property. Hmm. You know what? I didn't even look at my end goal. You didn't. Okay, that's interesting to know. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go here to get a victory point and flip one property, which is going to be this one, which is going to give me seven dollars. Big influx of cash. I like that. I think I'm actually going to use my worker to play a summer card. So I get a dollar because of that bonus. Dollar bonus for you. And choose up to two structures that cost three dollars or less. Build them for a victory point instead of Lyra. Wow. A victory point each. So I only have to spend two victory points. Yep. And I can build two structures. So yeah. that sounds good. Trellis and... My yoke is the only other one, but that's useful too. Nice. Okay, so it's my go. Mm -hmm. I pass, and I get a summer visitor card. It's probably not as good as the one I just had. And because of my cottage, and it's now fall for me, I get to draw another one. I think I will grab another summer visitor card. Okay. I only have one worker left. I think it's a tricky decision. I really want to plant, 
But I think I'm going to save my worker. I'm going to pass. Okay. So I now get a winter visitor card. Nice. And now we're in the fall. How many fields to harvest? Can't do that. Hmm. So one of the tricky things with the extended board is there are now so many things you can do. And the first turn is really hard because you only have three workers. Yeah. So you know what? I'm just going to pass. I do nothing. Ah. I know what I want to do in the fall. Or I know I want to do something in winter. Yep. So I have to pass. There you go. The fox. I only have one worker left. But I get to place a star Ooh. on this car, on this board. Nice. The bonus is a little bit different now because Luca will get you a structure card. Nice. I think I'm going to go here, though, to Pisa so I can get $2. $2. I'll put it down there so you can maybe still see that on the board. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Alrighty. So now we're into winter. Mm -hmm. Good. In winter, I'm going to use my grandy guy, and I'm going to go first on the training a worker. Which means I get a bonus of one dollar, so it only costs me three dollars. But I'm definitely going to train one of the special workers, so mm -hmm. it's still going to cost me four. So I'll use that. Get a dollar change. Now, do I want a chef or a professor? Hmm. I think I'm going to get the professor. So now I get a professor, which I don't get just yet. I'll get it at the end of yeah, the next round. Yeah, he's just in the recruitment office. Yep. He was hanging out waiting to get hired. Yep. I hired him. Right. You have an awesome, fantastic mustache. Welcome aboard, sir. Right. You start in the spring. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So, thankfully, I have my grande worker, and thankfully, you using your grande worker doesn't block <laughs> me to use my grande worker. There you go. So, I'm training a special guy as well. Five dollars. Yeah, because I don't get the bonus, but <laughs> I have five dollars. Nice. And I'm going to get the chef because you took the, the professor. professor? Nice. So the professor is going to let me take some of my meeples back, and the chef is going to allow you to give me some more of my meeples back. Such <laughs> a bad idea now. I should have taken the professor. <laughs> oh, you know, eventually I'm going to get my chef. You know, eventually I'll get my professor. Exactly. Right. So it's all good. But Kay. I didn't think of that. <laughs> it's my go? Yes. I pass. So I take my Obviously. rooster, first thing I do is I retrieve all my workers. Then I age my grapes and wine, which I have none. I discard to seven, I have six. I collect residual payments, I have none, and I choose my wake up position. So this time I would like to... And I'm going to get started on my actions here. Mm. Let's do number five. I have six cards, so choose my wake up position. Yep. You went to five. I did. I went there. Let's see what some of these structure cards look like. Nice. Okay. So I get to go first. Yes, you do. Now, let's see. Do I want to do anything in the spring? I need some money. I'm going to have a tour. Okay, for two bucks. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, what am I doing? I'm going to take this guy right here, and I am going to draw two vine cards. I want to save my workers, so I'm going to pass. I get a border card. Nice. All right. My go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my professor to build a structure. And I'm going to spend three dollars to build my irrigation, and then my professor lets me take this guy back here. Oh. It would have been smarter for me to take the professor. Professor anyway, is awesome. I passed, so it's you again. It's me again. Okay, um, now I shall also pass, and I will take a summer visitor card. Okay. Now we go to summer. I am going to plant a field. Okay. So I'm the first one, so I can plant two. Let's decide which two. Well, since I have my irrigation and my trellis, I can make this 
Cabernet Sauvignon. Nice. And a Syrah. And it's six, Ooh. so it has to go in this field right here. But it makes me very red heavy. I that's cool. I kind of don't like that. But that's, all right. that's the options I had. So. Yep. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my guy right here for a summer visitor card. And I get to, first of all, get a dollar for the bonus and build a structure at a $2 discount, which I'm going to build my medium seller. Ooh. I'm going to pass. I get a summer visitor card. Okay. All right, I could do some trading. I could flip a property. I don't think I really want to do that because I'm already down to two fields. So I shall also pass and I shall get a winter visitor card, please. Winter. Yep. And then my cottage is also going to activate, and I shall have a summer visitor card as well. Nice. So it's me next, right? It is indeed. Now we are in the fall. I can harvest one extra field, but I only have one field, so I'm going to only be able to harvest that one. A six red. Yes. Nice. Very nice. All right, um, I've still got two people left. I can build a structure or give a tour. Hmm. I'm going to use this guy here to give a tour for $3. I will pass. Okay. So I get to look at a structure card. Nice. And then you get to build it using either this or this. Build a structure, okay. Yep. Very interesting. I have a lot of cards over here. <laughs> Me too. I've got a ton <laughs> of cards. All right. Um, I am also going to pass, which means I get to place a star out on the influence board. You took the money one. That's a bummer. Hmm. Maybe I'll take the other money one for a dollar. In Siena. Chica. Winter. I want to buy another worker. There you go. And luckily, I have enough. I can get my professor. Sweet. Hmm. I don't, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to go up to um, playing a winter visitor card, which gives me another dollar, so that'll help me get stuff later. And I get to lose one victory point to upgrade my seller to the next level. That's worth it. Yeah. The uncertified onologist. The uncertified? Yeah, uncertified oenologist. <laughs> I don't He's know. like, yeah, for victory points, I'll just, you know, I'll upgrade I'll cut your... the corner. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's yeah, all good. your seller's fine. It's fine. Nothing possibly could go wrong. <laughs> so I get to get my workers back because I had none left. Nice. So now this means I can only buy one more worker, even though there's. I'll just maybe. Put them over there. Yep. So I'm not tempted. There you go. Okay, age of grapes. I have a seven grape. Dennis card down to seven cards. You're good. Seven. Residual payments, nothing. And choose your next wake up position. I don't want a vine card, so I better go there. There you go. All right, and then I am going to stop or pass or whatever. I get to retrieve my workers. I'm now one worker less than you. I don't like that at all. I love it. Makes me happy. Uh, no grapes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. I gotta discard two of my cards. Yahoo! I don't like this at all. I like it. Makes me happy. Let's get rid of a Savion Blanc. And the Zymiologist can go, since my thing is already fully operational. Okay, and then no residual payments, and then my wake up position. Let's go here just after you. All right, it's the next round. Right. And we are in spring. Mm -hmm. Here, go first. Yeah. I really need some white wine, or like white grapes. So I'm going to have to take one of my workers mm -hmm. and draw two vine cards. Nice. Okay. I'm going to do that to place one of my stars. And I'm going to place my star in Luca. So I can get a structure card. Let's see what these structure cards can do. Here we go. I'm going to give a tour so I can get some money. 
two dollars to you. And I get to bring him back. Because it's your professor. Right. Nice. Hmm. I'm going for it. What are you going for? I'm going to put my professor here, which lets me bring this guy back. And I get to build a structure, and I'm going to build my first structure card, which costs me $3. Which I had planned on using that money for something else. But I get to create a cafe. And if I put one of my workers here and discard one of my grape tokens, I get $3 and a victory point. Wow, that's awesome. And I get a victory point right, right now, now for building it. Awesome. That is cool. I pass. And I get a vine card. Nice. Um, let's see. I am going to place another worker out to get two vine cards since you vacated that section, which I like a lot. Ha ha ha. And it's still my go, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I shall pass and I get an order card, please. There you go. Thank you. I am going to plant two vine cards. Okay. It's going to be these two vine cards. A three white, which needs irrigation, and a three red, which needs irrigation. I'll put it on my seven so I can plant one more vine on there someday. Nice. Problematic, but okay. Why is it pl problematic for you? Why? Because I really need to get some vines planted and you keep taking them. Doot, doot. I know, but I want to be able to plant more than just one. Oh. Well, if you don't plant any ever, that's I know. I know. worse than... I'm working on it. Yeah. No, not going to do that. So I am going to do that. Use my grande worker so I can at least get one vine planted. So let's get my pinot planted right here in that field, like so. Done. Okay. Here you go. I'm going to use this worker here to flip mm. a property. Nice. So I get to gain a victory point. Yep. And five dollars. Influx of cash. Thank you. There you go. All right, so now it is my go. I am going to pass, which means I get a summer visitor card. Whoops, grabbed two by accident. You pushed me over. I'm pretty sure I was on this. I don't know if I was there or there. All right, so I got my summer visitor card, but because of my cottage, I get another visitor. Let's take a winter one, please. Thank you. I'm gonna pass as well. Okay. I get a summer. Well, I really need some white wine, so I'm going to harvest a field. I'm going to harvest it with this guy. Okay. I can harvest two fields, actually. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to need one, two, three tokens, please. Three tokens. And three. So I get a six red, and a three white, and a three red. Here you go. My go. Build a structure or give a tour. No, don't want to do that. So I'm just going to pass. And I get another structure card, please. Oh, I cannot get rid of the cards in my hand. It's crazy. Okay. I really need to start making some cellars so I can make some wine. So I guess I'm going to have to go here and build one structure. I'm going to build my medium cellar. Yep. I also get a dollar, so I will owe three altogether. So I'll need two back, please. Two back. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I already passed, so it's still you. And I passed because I have no more people left. There you go. Now we're in winter, and I got one person left. I am going to go to play a Winter Visitor card, get the bonus for a buck. And the Winter Visitor is going to be the Advanced Benefactor, which allows me to discard two of my visitors, it'll be these two, in order to get two victory points. Yikes, I'm in trouble. And this is all I could do. So now it's your go. And I have no people, so I retrieve my workers. Yep. 
and age my grapes. So I don't think you're in trouble. You've got grapes going on, you've got fields, I've got none of that. Okay. And I'm floundering a bit trying to get that going. And then uh, I discard to seven. I think I have way more than seven, so just one second here. So I'm going to get rid of this card here, summer card. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I need to get rid of one more. I can get rid of one of these vine cards. There. Okay. So you collected all your stuff, now you get to choose your wake up position. I'm thinking I want to take the money, but then I don't get any bonuses in the fall or the winter. But yep. I would pretty much, I would guarantee that I go first. Yep. Because you didn't take seven. Exactly. You only get the grapes when you take seven. Yep. I guess I'm going to go for the dollar, even though it's just one dollar. Okay. I don't have any people left, so I do the same thing. First I retrieve my workers. I got to discard down seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means I'm going to lose out on that order. And that summer visitor card is gone. I have nothing to age. I have no payments, and now I get to choose my wake up position. And you're going first, which I don't like. So I'm going to go seventh. Get an extra <laughs> worker. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, that means we go into spring and you are going. I need the money, so I'm going to place a worker there Okay. and get a tour. There you go. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All righty. Do I want to do any of those? No, I don't. I pass. I'm going to use my professor to build a structure because he's really smart at it. Yep. Send him back home. Nice for six dollars yep and I get to have my large cellar nice oh, I needed it I had all this expensive wine you yep. you're still going all right I'm gonna pass now okay you get a buck and it's still me now we are into the summer I think I have enough workers so I'm gonna play the summer visitor card actually okay because you're about to gain a dollar there you go and I'm going to, it's a choice, plant up to two vines and gain a dollar or uproot and discard a vine to gain two points. And I lost two points at the beginning of the game there to build those structures. Yep. So I think I will do that. I'll uproot this and nice. discard it for two points. Okay. And that's that. Nice. All right. I happily am going to plant mm -hmm. two vine cards. Yes. And I'm going to plant a Savionese and a Savion Blanc, which with my Pinot is going to fill up that field with a total of six. And it's going to be a four white and two red. That's cool. Yes. I like that. I'm going to pass. Okay. What am I going to do? Hmm. I think I'm going to use my professor here, which gives me this guy back. And then I'm going to take two cards. I'm going to take a structure card that I don't particularly want. And I'm going to take a summer visitor card. And I'm going to pass them in for $3. And you pass, which means I get to go again. Mm -hmm. Now what do I want to do? Hmm. Well... I think I'm also going to pass, which means I get a card. I will take a structure card, please. Now we're in the fall, and now I do get a visitor card. I'll take a winter visitor card, please. From my cottage. Nice. That's cool. All right. Now we are in the fall. And I get to harvest a field. Of course you do. Two, actually. Of course you do. Because it says plus one. Yep. So I'll need three tokens, please. Three tokens. There you are. Oh, that's a four red, but I'll have to put it on three. Yep. And a three red, so I'll have to put it on two. Yep. <laughs> and a three white. That's okay. Uh, it's all good. Good, good, good. All right, what am I doing here? I don't want an order card. 
don't think I particularly want to build a structure. So I think I'm going to use this gray worker to go here and give a tour for three bucks. Get an influx of cash. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use my chef to go and he can make uh, some wine for me. Yep, three wine tokens worth. Because there's a plus one right there. Yep, yep. I'm going to make this three white. These two tokens, a four white and a three red to get a seven a blush. Nice. And I can make one more. So let's just go with this uh, in the middle of the road there, red wine. Nice. So now it's me again. Mm -hmm. I pass. Okay. And I also pass. Okay. Now we're in winter. You get to go. I only have one worker left, and yep. I really would like to fill an order. There you go. It's going to be this order here. A three white and a seven blush. Yes. Three white, seven blush. And I get to have five of the points. You do. And two dollars on this wheel. Nice. Cool. You want to put that over there just I to will. keep track? I will keep track. I'll just oh, no, I would keep track, but it's fun. Right there. There we go. All right. So next, what am I doing? Let's check my winter visitor card. That's what I'm doing. So I shall go to the winter visitor card place, which gives me another dollar. Getting all sorts of cash now, which is nice. I get to harvest one field. So I finally have grapes. I got a four white grape and I've got a two red grape. And then I either get to draw one green card, a vine card, or build a yoke for a buck. I'll build a yoke for a buck. Done. Winter visitor card completed. Done. And you're passing, aren't you? Nice. Retrieve my workers. And then I each my grapes and my wine. Yep. Discard down to seven. One, two, three, four, five. Collect residual payments of two bucks. Yahoo. There you go. Choose wake up position for next year. And you know I'm going to be first, so it's whatever you want to do. Right. Let's see about getting another order card. Nice. Okay. Now I've still got two more people left to do stuff with. I've got some grapes going finally. I don't have any wine. So first of all, let's use this guy to, yep. Yeah. And it's gonna cost me $4 in order to get my chef. It's funny how I can read your mind sometimes. Yeah. It's scary. And then I've got a big worker, which I realize now there's nothing there for me to get. I have no wine tokens. I don't have an order I can fulfill. I'm going to use my grande worker to either <laughs> gain a buck or a structure card. Let's use them to get a structure card. Okay. Because I didn't particularly like the structure Oops, cards sorry. I got before. I'm sure I don't know what it is. We'll put them on the board so that you know where he went. That's interesting. All right. So now I pass. I retrieve my workers. And because Justin had taken this, he has to go here. Yep. No choice. Grapes are going to age. Okie doke. I think that's it. I don't have any residual payments or anything like that. I don't have more than seven cards. I think we're good. Moving on. Okay. So it is now spring, and I get to go first all the time. Huzzah. This year. Yeah, well, this year, yeah. yeah, yeah. All the time. Yeah. All the time this year. Right. <laughs> let's take one of my workers and let's draw two vine cards. Interesting. I am going to give a tour for two dollars, please. A tour for two bucks. There you go. I'm going to send my professor out so I can get this guy back. And he's going to put out a harvest machine. That's interesting. When I harvest a field, I may harvest all of my fields instead. 
and I get a victory point. And it didn't cost me anything. I was going to build a structure, but I'm certainly not going to use my chef to bump out your professor. <laughs> so I pass. Okay. I mean, maybe I could have used my grande worker, but... Maybe nice. something else exciting will happen. Okay. So then it's my go. Do I want to place or move or draw more vine cards? I don't think I do. So then I also pass. Okay. Which means now we go into... Summer. Summer. Summer visitor card. Still can't do that just yet. I'm going to take one of my workers and send it to my cafe to discard one of my white grape tokens, and I get a victory point and three dollars. My cafe is up and running! Oh, Magnifico! That's your go. So I don't have any summer visitor cards, I don't want to plant any fields, I don't want to trade, and I don't want to flip a property, so I'm going to pass. Okay. I'm going to have this guy right here, and he is going to take this card and discard it and one more card the docks card that card can go and I'll trade it for two other cards because I want me some vines oh you gotta be kidding me that is crazy oh, that was frustrating not happy about that at all you st that's still your shirt I know I've got two workers left. All right, I'm going to pass. Which we move into the fall, and I get a winter visitor card, please. Thank you. I'm going to harvest a field, which I could harvest all of them if I had more than these, which I don't. So I get a four white grape, and I get a two red grape. Done. This is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to use my chef to bump out him. Ooh, wow. So I can harvest both of my fields. Nice. All right. So I'll need three jewels, please. Three of them. There you go. So it's a four and a three, but I already have a three, so it's a four and a two. And three white. And here you go. My go. All right. Well, I can uh, use my chef to make up to two wine tokens. Let's make a four white and a three red. Oh, I can make up to three if I wanted to. Hmm. Did I want to make that other one? Nope. I did not. Actually, yeah, I do. Okay. Here you go. I think I have to use my grande worker to make two up to two wine tokens. I'm actually only gonna only be able to make one wine token because I'm short on white. Hmm. So let's. Oh, this is wasteful, but I'm gonna have to take the eight and the three. That adds up to eleven, so it's a nine blush. Nice. Okay. Extra fine blush. Extra fine. Okay. So it's my go. Mm -hmm. I shall pass to winter. And I'm going to build a structure. Ooh. There's your dollar. It's going to be my tap room. So Ooh. five dollars. Nice. What does that do for five dollars? When I play a summer or winter visitor card, you may discard one wine to gain two victory points. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. I don't particularly like that whatsoever. Why? <laughs> because that seems like a lot. It's crazy it's with your awesome. wine making like set up all going like crazy mad there. Well, I have a white wine shortage problem going on right now. Okay, so still you, still in still fall. Still me in fall. Yep. I'm gonna have to pass because I only have one worker left. Get yourself a structure card. Had you not blocked that, I could have got a <laughs> worker back. Yeah. It's a bummer. <laughs> really? 
That's awesome. Oh, God. <laughs> so, uh, we are now passing over to Winter. I'm going to use him to pay $3 to train my last guy. Normally it'd be four bucks, but I get a dollar discount because of the bonus. Right. right on. That's me. It's sad that I have to use my professor as my last action, but that's what happened. And I would have liked to get my worker, but I don't have enough money. He blocked me anyway, so I'm going to do this. I get a dollar for playing a visitor card. Mm -hmm. I get my two points if I discard a wine token. Yep. And my visitor card is pay a dollar to get one on the residual. Yep. Or lose two residual to gain two victory points. Mm. Let's just look at my wine orders here. This might seem stupid, but I'm going to take the two victory points. <laughs> <laughs> so your residual payments go down to zero. zero. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's Kay. what I did. Yeah. We'll see if it works out. All right. So I'm done, which means I pass. So first of all, I retrieve all my workers, please. I have the max number of workers now. Uh, all my stuff ages, so five, four, like just like that. Discard down to seven, four, five, six, seven. Residual payments, I got none, and then I get to pick what I want to do next year. I am going to choose the number three. Okay, now it's your go. Of course you would. Yeah. Get to take back all my people. And then I age my stuff. My blush is at the top, so my wine can't age. That's at the top. Discard down to seven. I have six. Collect residuals, which now I have zero, and choose a wake up, which I really wanted that vine card. Bummer. So, <laughs> let's do this and get a bunch of the visitor cards for my uh, tap room there. Sounds good to me. Okay. All right, we're into the next round. Uh, spring. Let's draw two vine cards. I wanted to draw two vine cards. You know I'm having an issue with my white wine over here. Apparently so. I have so many cards that I wish I could give you right now because the cards I want are not coming up. This is the third draw of vine cards that has bit me in the butt. Okay, well, I'll take $2 then. There you go. Well, I'm going to place my professor out so that I can place a star out, which will be in Grissetto, so I can get another vine card. And I'll get this guy back. My Done. professor is going to build me a structure. Nice. And it's the one I just drew that's really exciting. Oh, what is it? Let me see. It's going to cost me five, all my money. Wow. Whenever I fill a wine order, I get to gain an extra victory point. Oh, yes, because that's what you need. <laughs> I am in so much trouble. I'm going to place a guy here to give a tour for two bucks. Done. I'm going to pass. Okay. I'm going to take a winter card. Oh, so I also pass, and then I get another vine card. All right, now we are into the summer. Summer. I'm going to place this guy here so that I can plant two. A Syrah and a Tribbiano right there. I'm going to pass. So I get a wow. winter card. That's crazy. All right, I am going to play a summer visitor card, which is going to be this one right here. I get a dollar for the bonus. Discard one uh, grape or discard one wine token. So I'm going to discard this five white token and I gain plus two residual payment because my negotiator comes in and negotiates for me. Wonderful. Yep. Still my go. And the next thing I'm going to do is flip a property. So that gives me a victory point, $7. And this is mine yet again. Um, and then I pass and I get a summer visitor card. And because of my cottage, I get another visitor card. I'll take another summer visitor card. 
What do I want to do in the fall? I want to do nothing. I mm. pass. Well, that's nice. Yep. I'm going to harvest a two fields. You need three? Yes, please. Yeah, there you go. So that's a four, but I already have that. It goes way down to two. And then a three white and three red. So it goes all the way to one. So then I'm going to use this guy to make up to two wines, but plus one because of that. So three. One, two, three. Here you go. Because I pass. You pass? Okay. Oh, but I get to place a star. Let's take a summer visitor card. There you go. The bow, Neil. We are in winter. I am going to place a winter visitor right at the very top. So I get that bonus. My winter visitor, the advanced marketeer, fill one order and gain one victory point extra. This one right here is a four and a three red. Done. I get four victory points total. And plus one on the residual payment track. And that fills that order and that winter visitor card. I mixed up what I was going to do here because I was also going to um, play, play a winter. winter visitor. Ooh, you're going to bump me? I can't actually. I forgot to get money. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Dun dun dun. So, I'm going to fill an order with this guy, I guess. It doesn't matter. It's going to be this one here. Okay. An eight blush, so nice. I have a nine. So I get four points. And one on there. Okay. And then don't you have something that you can fulfill orders? Gain an extra victory point? I do. Nice. Uh, I'm going to pass. Yeah, because you have no more people. So I get to retrieve all my workers. Oops. All right, age my grapes. I don't have any of those. Um, discard down to seven, so I got to discard one of my vine cards. That can go there. Collect residual payments of three dollars, and then choose where I want to go next. Let's go number three again. I think I'm just gonna put my last one there to get a dollar. There you go. And I get them all back. Yep. All right, age grapes and wine. Discard down to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Collect residual payments of one dollar. One, one huge dollar. And choose your wake up position. Well, I'm not keen on you taking a vine card again. I really need white. Put me in number two. Number two. Oh, she's taking my spot. And then I get a dollar. Or no, when I pass, I get a dollar. But I'm not going to pass yet. I'm going to draw two vine cards. Okay. Two vine cards for you. I'm going to place a guy here to place one of my stars in Arizo to get an order card. Wonderful. Okay. I'm going to place him here so I can uproot this vine. I need to do that. I'm going to pass, which gives me a vine card. I also pass. So you also pass, which means you get a dollar. There you go. All right, next round, you go. I made a mistake. I should have used my chef here, so I could have used him there, mm -hmm. so I could get a worker back. Anyway, I'm going to have to use him here Okay. to play a summer visitor card. There you go. Choose two. Gain two, a victory point, build a structure, or plant a one vine. So Ooh. I'm going to get a victory point, okay. and I'm going to plant a vine. Nice. It's going to be a three white, of course. I'm going to go here so I can plant two, a Sauvignon Blanc and a Cabernet Sauvignon, so that now my field is full. I believe just about all of my fields are now full. I pass. You pass. Do I want to trade or flip? Hmm. I'm going to use my professor for trading. I forgot to discard that. Okay. 
I'll get rid of two of my vines in order to um, get myself a victory point, please. And then I'll pick up this guy. And then I shall pass and get a summer visitor card. Now I get to harvest one field. Or, no, I think I'm, I'm still gonna harvest the fields. So I get three grapes, please. Three grapes. There you go. Two, three whites, but it's gonna be a three and a two and a three red. Okay, watch this. I am going to use my yoke to harvest which means I get to harvest all three of my fields right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's been a long time coming, but that's cool. It's all right. So I get a two white, I get a three white, I get a four white, I get a two red, a four red, and it would be another two red, but it bumps down to a one. There you go. Very nice. And I pass. You pass. Mm -hmm. Oh, we just entered fall, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Wait, which one was on? No, I was on this one. Mm -hmm. um, I was supposed to get another visitor card. I said I wasn't going to remind you. Mm. Oh, well, I'll have to remember for next time. No, take it. I'll just take a winter one. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, you have passed, which means I can send this guy out to make three wine tokens, which is what I want to do. So let's make some wine. I am going to make a two white, a three white, and a four white wine. That seems lovely. Okay. Which now means it's still my go. I don't think I want to need to do any of that stuff. So I shall pass. And now we are into winter. Yes. It's your go. So I'm going to play a winter visitor card. Nice. Get you a buck. Yep. Pay $2 to train a worker or gain two victory points if you have all six. So I'm going to oh, pay wow. two to train a worker. Oh, I thought you had all your workers. Not yet. Wow. So it's too bad it doesn't say I can use them on this round. Anyway, yeah. I can't. So he's ready for next year. Cool. And because I did the uh, visitor card, Yep. I can discard a wine to gain two victory points. Ooh, so nice. I'll discard this two red. Yep. I gotta start catching up on you on victory points here. Well, let's start right now. Let's uh, fill an order. So I've got a two, three, and a four white. Wow. Which gives me four victory points and plus one on the residual payments. Ha <laughs> Now I'm done. You're done? So I retrieved my workers. Yep. All of my workers. Now I can get some stuff going on. Okay. Age my grapes and wine. Yep. This card down to seven. Three, four, five, six. I'm good. Okay. Collect residual payments of a dollar. One big dollar. There you go. And choose your wake up position. I'll choose number four. Number four. Interesting. Okay, my go. The cafe is open. So I'm gonna get rid of a one red grape. I get three dollars. And one victory point, please. Oop, that's supposed to go here, not on the destroy structure space. That would suck. <laughs> and then I also pass. All right, got all my workers, everything ages. So a three and a five red. Um, discard down to seven, three, four, five, six. Collect residual payments of four dollars. I'll throw one of these and take one of these shiny five gold coins. And then I get to choose a wake up position. I would have done that, but you took it. Yay. Interesting. You took the perfect spot I would have taken. Well, let's go first. I'll go into number three. All right, I could draw some vine cards. I could give a tour. I could build a structure. I could move or place stuff. Let's start with that. Let's place or move a star. Let's go Firenze, which will give me a winter visitor card, please. Well, that's what I was going to do, but I don't want to use my grande worker, so I'm going to pass. All right. Charlotte passes and gets a order card. I'm going to use my professor to go here to build a structure. 
it's going to cost me six dollars and I build my tasting room and that gives me this guy back I don't know where that was I don't know I'll just put it on three because that's fair okay could have been on four and you've already well, passed which yeah. means I will give a tour to get two dollars back my workers must have moved it and a victory point and then I shall pass and get a vine card I'm going to play a summer visitor card and gain a dollar and then the advanced surveyor I get a victory point for each planted field that I own. Give me three victory points please. It's frustrating. <laughs> I'm playing a, a card too even though I don't get a dollar. Each opponent may give you two dollars for each opponent who does not. Oh. <laughs> I would have gained a victory point. No victory points for you. Oh, wait, but the whole reason I did that was to discard a one to get two victory points. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Even better. I don't like that. I am going to pass, and I get a summer victory visitor card. I'm actually going to go here. Yep. I'm going to trade two cards for a victory point. Okay. We go. I already passed, so you can keep going. I'll pass. Okay. So I get a summer visitor card. There we go. And for my extra one, I will take another summer visitor card. So I am actually going to go up here and draw two order cards because I need some orders. Got nothing going yet. I am going to make a three wine. This three white. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to make a sparkling. So I need one white and two red. So it's going to be four and four is eight and six. That's ten. So it goes all the way to nine. I can make one more. Let's see. Let's make the five white. Okay. I'm going to send my chef to the cafe so I can get rid of a three red grape to make one victory point and three bucks. I think I'm going to use him to harvest a field and I'll take my worker back. Nice. So I get to harvest two actually, so I'll need three tokens, please. Three tokens, come back. So it's a three and a three and a three, so it's a two. Cool. Okay. I pass. I also pass. And you get a structure card. That's cool. And then I get my grande. He's going to go up to a winter visitor section, which gives me a dollar, and I'll just pass in these so I can get a nice, another nice shiny white or gold five. The winter visitor card that I'm going to do or play or have or whatever is going to be the Reaper. I get to harvest up to three fields. If you harvest three fields, gain two victory points. Two victory points, please. Two victory points for Justin. And lots and lots of little gems of them because I get to harvest everything. Two white, a four white, a three white, a two red, a one red, and a four red. I'm going to fill a wine order. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fill this wine order. Nice. It's a three white Yep. and an eight sparkling. Ooh. And... It's six points, but every time I fill a wine order, I get yep. to get an extra victory point, so seven. And I gave you plus two on the residual payment track. Thank you. Yowzers. Every time I get just a little bit ahead, and actually that means this is going to be the last round. Yeah. No! <laughs> I didn't even notice how close we were. I was one point away, and I didn't even know it. Okay. Oh, that was so dumb. So dumb, because um, I can do nothing except pass right now. Unless I do this. Well, that's just it, because it's my turn. Oh. So, oh. So Once I you pass, you're passed. Treat my workers. <laughs> you can't even do another. Nope. Oh. Because you decide to do that that round instead of yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. So I treat my workers. I age my grapes and my wine. 
Um, discard down to seven, so I get rid of a whole bunch of vine cards that are useless. Um, what else do I do? I collect my residual payments of four dollars. And then I choose my wake up position, which doesn't matter because this is the last round. And then I don't even have to use my chef. I can just go up here. Yep. I get a dollar. Yep. And I get to play this. So, pay three dollars to either place one value red and white grapes on your crush pad or fill a wine order to gain an extra point. So I have. Wow. A five and a five. Oh, I know. I thought it was three dollars to do either or. Oh, that's a really good question. I just figured no, it would only be fair to pay three dollars for either one. No, I think the or is. Oh, or fill. Or fill one order and gain oh, okay. an extra victory point. So I'm filling this one. For an extra five points. Yeah. Wow, and you were worried. Oh, whoops, you said an extra five points. No, an extra point. Well, three, four, five. Oh, five, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yep. And if I had an extra um, wine token, which I don't have any left, I could have got an extra two points, but I didn't have any <laughs> left. Yeah. I just scrimped by with what I had. Doesn't matter, because you're already whipping my butt and the game's over. <laughs> yeah, but there's all these points to do. True. I suppose that is true. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I forgot about these. I didn't forget. I just had no time to do it, and I actually would have accomplished my goal. Wow, I would not have. Nowhere near. I got two orders done the entire game. That was it. Oh. Actually, I think I only got... No, I got two. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. Anyway, so you pass. No, mm -hmm. you're still going. I still have Amiibo, but I mean, what's the sense in using them? To gain a mm -hmm. dollar? If you want it. That's the only thing. Because I can't sell any one. I don't have any. Yep. All right. So, um, retrieve your workers. Age your grapes and your wine. Uh, discard down to seven. I only have three. Collect your residual payment of four dollars. And then choose a wake up position, which doesn't matter because the game is over. Right. All right, so um, neither of us got our secret objectives, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we look over here, and you're getting an extra three points. And I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you didn't totally slaughter me. Just five. Just five. Just probably by my very last wine order. Ah, uh, yeah. That was a close game. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I I feel like I spent. I had this really great way to get both of my sellers are really cheap at the beginning, and it took me like two turns to do it, and then like never use them. <laughs> well, you had such a hard time getting the kind of grapes you wanted to plant. Yeah. So it, it kind of messed up. And then this stuff came out, and I needed to get that going, and I spent a lot of time getting that going. Yeah. What was your secret goal? My secret goal was to have one blush or one sparkling wine token in my cellar. Oh. Have, a, oh, have at least four level residual. Yeah. So I would have got it, but yep. I just, I never had a chance to throw away a wine. Yeah. I mean, I could have, but I got this card. Yeah. So that was better. I was just getting two points. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, the goal is only worth two points, so mm -hmm. totally makes sense to keep doing that. Yeah. And I just kept throwing stuff away to my, my cafe, which was interesting, but... I like the structures. Yeah, the structures are neat. Yeah. I like them too. So I think because it was the first time we played with every tier one and tier two thing added, there was just a lot. Mm -hmm. I would get cards, and then suddenly everything that I had planned went out the window because I got these new cards. Because everything was so cool. Yeah. Yeah. So once you get used to playing with everything, you'll you'll be able to be like, that's very cool, but I'm going to stick with my plan. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, you had like this like machine of pumping out grapes and wine and getting all these bonus points for your orders. Mm, I liked how that came together. And I was able to do the exact opposite and get very little orders done and very little wine done and do all these other cool little things to get but, points. Yeah, you're way up there. That kept bringing me up. Awesome. Yeah, it was neat. So that is uh, our our tier two and tier one everything in game of Viticulture in Tuscany. Right. Nice. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video. Later.
And in winter, you can play a winter visitor card. You can train a cat to <laughs> attack the back of your head jinx. in the middle of shooting film. Very naughty. Yeah, <laughs> I love you too. It's very nice. You want to do my hair? <laughs> oh, it's so lovely. Yeah, I love you. Do you want me to do it now? <laughs> she glares at me. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't moving me, pal. <laughs> jinx. I've got some money. I don't want to get rid of it or anything. Well, you uh, could give it to me if you really wanted to. I don't. I just don't. Okay. <laughs> Maybe later? Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> you haven't won one yet on camera. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> I'm horrible at this game! I just suck. Why does she keep winning? I win off camera. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. That's the way.